Hi, welcome to Equator. In this video, I'm going to use a Casio FX570 ES scientific calculator to, to solve for simultaneous equations. So we have now here two equations here. So the first one is 4x plus 2y equal 10 and the second one is x plus 5y, 5y equal 8. So to solve for x and to solve for y simultaneously, you can use this calculator. I'm in normal mode, I just press mode, and then number five equation. And then number one, this is a in x plus b in y plus c in. So I'm pressing number one. Now we see the field to enter the values. So a, that is my a, which is four, and that is b, and that is c I'm entering. So I press four, equal sign. When I press equal sign, the cursor moves. 2 and then equal sign it goes to the C the C is 0 here also it shows a value and also press 10 now 2 in this case uh, uh, the coefficient of X is 1 so I press equal uh, 1 and then equal 5 equal and then 8 equal once all the values enter press equal sign you get X is 17 over 9 and then either equal sign or with the arrow. This arrow shows that we have more values. So you can go to the y, 11 over 9. If you want to see x again, just go up. Now let's have a look at a three simultaneous equation. In this case, now we have, we have x, we have y, we have z. So three variables. When we have three variables, you must have three equation in order to be able to solve it. So I have equation one, two, and then three. So I have three equations. All these values are here. And then let's enter it to find x, y, and z. Again, press mode, go to number five, which is equation. And then number two this time, because a, and you can see x, y, and then z here, a, n, x plus b and y plus c and z equal d n so I'm pressing number two in this case you see a b c and then d is there because the square bracket is not revealed yet so the first uh, value that you can see here is 3 minus 8 2 3 and then equal sign minus 8 equal sign 2 and then now the cursor moves here and then 11 equal sign once you press equal sign the cursor moves to the next line 10, 2, for the z here, the coefficient is 1, and then 20 on this side. Equal sign, again 7 for the third equation, 1 for the y here, the coefficient for y is 1, and then 15, equal sign, and then 8. Once you enter all the values, just press equal sign. So now this is a value for x. If you don't like this, just press this button to convert it to decimal. But anyway, I'm pressing equal sign to get y. So that's minus that value, 0, minus 0 0.668, and then equal sign again, and that's for z. So if you want to scroll the value, just go up and down and get the value. Thank you for watching. Please thumb up if you like the video and also subscribe.